next guest is a Bronx-born, self-taught chef, and she's been a New York Times critic's pick, and they call her famous fried fish improbably light with just enough salt and crunch. Mm. She's cooked for huge names like Justin Bieber and our friend Whoopi Goldberg. Her style has been called like watching a magic show. And today, let's get some magic in the kitchen. Joining us in studio to help us add a little spice to our lives and our dinner and our all-in-one single sheet pan recipe is Chef Millie Pear Tree. Millie, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for I having me. I love that me. you're in studio because you are one of the chefs that was featured in the article that inspired this. You had two recipes on that New York Times sheet pan list. Yes, yes. What is it about the sheet pan that we're all obsessed with now, or at least me? Well, I mean, one thing about the sheet pan is just the easiest thing to do. It's sometimes you want to don't want to pull out those pots and pans. You don't want the splatter. Yeah. You want to be able to have your beautiful clothes on as we have on right now. Just throw something in the oven, pull it out. And when we open, open, right. be able to entertain with loved ones. So it's a good way okay. to actually minimize fat in cooking and frying and sauteing. Oh. Yeah, and then you can also just throw in a sheet pan. It's just one of those things that are super easy and I love to do it. I am from Texas. I have made nachos in the oven. I've never made fajitas. So that's what you're doing with us today. That's so we're right. starting out with our peppers. That's right. Oh, shit. Sheet. Let's get to it. <laughs> so let's get to it. So peppers. So ahead. super um, simple. So we're going to take our ends off of our peppers. Yeah. Going to chop those off. And then we're going to cut the cheeks off of our peppers. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's all simple. Got that. And then just a quick slice. You could take out that membrane if you have an extra membrane in the pepper. I don't like the membrane. Yeah. And you just prefer, obviously, because fajitas, they always have a wide range of colors. Wide there, so. range of peppers. You know, yeah. us as black people will bell pepper and onion the heck out of some food. <laughs> but most importantly, we have some red peppers because they're nice and sweet. And, and most importantly, we eat with our eyes. Yeah. Color is everything. Okay. So, so we have our peppers done, a beautiful um, Millie, I pepper. can't believe you got me chopping on air because I, I I really need to take a chopping class, but my chopping skills are horrible. So well, we just chopped up our bell peppers. We've got beautiful red, orange, yellow, green. Now you have your steak. What cut of steak do you like? So we're going to use flank steak. It's easy to cook. It's very lean. Back in the days, we used to say how inexpensive it was. Oh, get some flank steak. It's nice and cheap. Not anymore no, because we not. said it was cheap for so long. They upped those prices. But Absolutely. nevertheless, a good cut of meat. Okay. So we're going to start our marinade for our steak. So we have some um, chili powder. We have some cumin. We have some garlic powder. And we're going to add it to our flavored oil. You so can this is it. like a traditional Mexican spice blend. Yes. If you don't want to use garlic powder, you can use um, fresh garlic. I like to use garlic powder. I make this for one of my really good friends. Mm. She doesn't like chunks of garlic, so garlic powder is a way to get that flavor in there. And what oil did you use? Um, we're using extra virgin olive oil. Okay. However, if you don't have that, canola, vegetable, whatever you have on hand, totally use it. It'll all work. You can okay. even use coconut oil because really? it's high smoke content. So pretty much, this is one of those you can use pretty much any type of oil. Okay, I so wouldn't use sesame our... because of that will change the flavor profile. Okay. So you have our, um, our rub here that we put on the steak itself, right? Yep. And we're going to brush it on here. And you could totally marinate this in a bag as well. Mm -hmm. I but, tend to do that because I like when I'm cooking, you know, a, a big piece of, of meat like this to put it in my little Ziploc bag and mm -hmm. let it all marinate inside in my refrigerator for yep, at least a few rub hours. Rub it on there. Okay. So know. we've got that. So we've got our steak um, seasoned to perfection. Let's move over to the sheet pan itself. Absolutely. Sheet pan itself. So of course we have our onions sliced ni nicely. But what we're going to do before we add the rest of our vegetables, we're going to add this steak to the middle of the pan. Oh, okay. Okay. And then we're going to make sure, of course, we're going to liberally, um, liberally with salt and pepper. You're doing both sides? And we're going to definitely do both sides. Okay. You know, we eat the whole thing. We don't eat just one side. We want flavor all around. I am always suspicious around. of people who just season one side. Okay. That's just my bias there. And That's listen, just my and, bias. And we both country girls, and we do season, <laughs> we, we do wash our chicken. I don't care what people say, I wash my chicken, show. Uh-oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> but that's a conversation for I, another I'm, day. I am not trying to get in a Twitter war over that. Okay. <laughs> so you got your uh, bell peppers, and you place it all around? I place it all around. The reason why I place it all around and set up, up under it, like you'll do when you roast a turkey sure. or something, is because we want some texture, we want some crunch, we want some bite but however if you like it on the more soft side you can totally place it up under okay and these onions you just kind of place they almost look like you're decorating good that's right make it real pretty okay 
So we're gonna add some oil and the salt and pepper to our vegetables as well. Everything is seasoned. Okay, and you're gonna drizzle a little more olive oil on top, in my case, to finish it off. Yes. And then we put it in the oven, how long? We're gonna put it in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes, depending on doneness. If you like it a little bit more on the well side, okay. you'll cook it a little bit longer. If you like it less, maybe eight minutes, but depending on how you like it. So we're gonna cook ours between eight and 12 minutes. All right, eight and 12 minutes, we'll be back. Chef Millie is gonna stick around, and we'll find out how these fajitas stand up to our sheet pan test after the break. Chef Millie Peartree. Not only is she a chef and restaurateur, but she's also a beloved member of her community throughout the pandemic. Millie has served over 70,000 meals to children, families, and frontline workers in the Bronx through her Full Heart, Full Bellies initiative. And today she is serving up sizzling sheet pan fajitas for us. Before the break, Millie, we chopped up our vegetables, seasoned our flank steak, and put our sheet pan to work in the oven, 450 degrees, 8 to 12 minutes, depending on how you like your meat cooked. I like medium rare to medium. Right. So you've got this out, and with a beautiful piece of steak, all of it on this one sheet pan. Yes. Okay, what's next? So gorgeous, so gorgeous. So we're going to take, so we actually rested our meat for about 5 to 10 minutes because we want all of those juices to suck back into that meat. Okay. And we got a beautiful color on top of it. So we're going to take our meat, and we're going to slice it. And the way we slice our meat is a um, we're gonna do it against the grain. Mm -hmm. So you see where that connective tissue is, like yeah. that, the, um, the muscles of the meat? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna cut against it yeah. because we don't want it to be tough. Right. And you should see me at home in the kitchen. I'm literally with a magnifying glass. I'm like, okay, wait a minute. Millie said against the grain. Against the grain. All right. So and if you don't like steak, feel free to use chicken. Yeah. You can use some portobello mushrooms. You know, use whatever you have. All right, so we've got our beautiful steak here. Now, obviously, you don't have that sizzle that you might have if you cook it on a, a skillet or cook it on the cooktop of your oven. Right. But nevertheless, it's juicy, it's delicious, and it's flavorful. Right, and you can totally get that color, get that char, put it under the broiler, mm -hmm. and all of that wonderful, um, the seasonings will start to crystallize in there, and you'll get, like, those wonderful marks. So oh, good. Beautiful okay, and delicious. Yeah. So at the end, just put the broiler on high and let it get a little crispiness. Right, okay, and then good. when you pull it out, it'll definitely sizzle because it has, like, that fat in the pan as well. Love that tip. Yep. Okay, and we've got a little lime juice. Are we finishing it off? Absolutely. So the way I like to eat it is, you know, I'll take it with my peppers and onions. We'll take a little bit of, we'll take some flour tortillas, and we'll just make like a really simple. All right. And yep. I like this too, because now you have all your vegetables on the sheet pan. So mm -hmm. if you have guests, they can kind of come over and get whatever vegetables they want, layer it in. Correct. Got beautiful avocado, cilantro. I'm a cilantro girl, so I, I love that. You see, I grabbed the prepared I see, one I love already. Cilantro. I, to eat. I love also, you've got your sour cream, a little hot sauce here, and you finish it off with lime. Lime juice. Like, I like that that burst of freshness, mm -hmm. and, and I, feel, I finish a lot of my food by either fresh herbs or some kind of citrus because it just brings it all together. And then we have, like, this wonderful... Love it. Um, wonderful steak fajita. I love this. Thank you so much, Chef Millie. And you know what? Thank you for everything you're doing for the community, the work you do. You're just an angel. Thank angel you in so the much. kitchen, an angel on the streets. We Thank appreciate you. it Thank so, you so much. much having me. And be sure to check out the recipe on our website, TamaronHallShow.com.